challenge that in our poverty, in our hand, I'm going to come and deliver the broken, destroyed, messed up, poor, impoverished people I'm going to have. Hey, Shalom Israel. Yeah, how about Shimmy Up Shot, Brother Thug? Yeah, how was Shimmy Up Thug by Shimmy Up Shot of all the sisters, man? Listen, it's Captain 13,000, the card of a rhyme. Checking in with the Israelite school of UPK, under Commander Jerry Hunt. Power and you know we not no cowards. All you on that. Listen, man, this year's 52nd annual Passover. Hold on, hold on, I'm gonna say it one more time. Second annual Passover under Commander Jerry and Hunter under the ISU PK. Couldn't do it last year. Y'all already know the Lord had his foot on our oppressor's neck. Here in New York City, there are roughly a thousand cases a day. Those are numbers they haven't seen since May. Can't do it in New York this year because the Lord still got his foot on our oppressor's neck. New York, the center of the outbreak this spring is now teetering on another deadly explosion of the virus. But listen to me good. This year, 52nd annual Passover, April 24th, 2021. You understand? It's going to be in H-Town, baby. It's going to be at the B&H Ranch, 14149 Player Street, Houston, Texas. Twenty twenty-one, I should be K, 52nd annual Passover. All the generals gonna be there, all the heavy hitters gonna be there. The daughters of Zion gonna step out with their beautiful long dresses, you understand? Strong on deck, that one west style music on deck, 52nd annual Passover. BH Ranch, 14149, Player Street, Houston, Texas. Get with it to get lost, man. Got it out the book. Straight up out the base. The world done made me crazy. The world done turned crazy. You dealing with the men of war. We at war. I sided with the Lord of course. A one and cause. We ain't never stopping now. You running now. All my niggas go to ground. We go. Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans need the truth. We've been lied to all of our lives. Our grandmothers and mothers were lied to. Well, guess what? These brothers in the ISUBK come out here and tell the truth. And not only do we tell the truth, we tell the truth according to the Bible, man. I know that sounds strange because we don't think the Bible is the truth. Well, guess what? It is. And I'll prove it to you right now. We are the Israelite School of Universal Practical Knowledge. Started out of 1 West, 125th Street, out of Hall, New York. Under Commanding General Yohanna, man. We teach that blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are the real Jews according to this Bible, according to the historical records found in this book. And guess what? In this same Bible, it also says that the white man is the devil the Bible speaks of, man. And that's the truth. Our people don't want to hear the truth because the truth doesn't fit into our lives of sin. The truth doesn't feel good when we want to go and be American and be disgusting and be Christian and be Democrat and Republican, man. The Lord called Blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans to be separate, to be different from every other race of people. But guess what? We've come to love our lives in America. When the way we live in America is, is, is no reason to love it. Our lives are terrible, man. That's why we get high. That's why we go and drown our suffering in a bottle. That's why we abuse our children, man, and, and rob our own brothers. And, a, and neglect our own sisters, man. Because our lives are hell. Our lives are hell because we have abandoned our code of conduct, man. Everybody wants to say there's a code and rules to everything. There's levels to this. But we never understood that, guess what? If you're black, Hispanic, and Native American, you have a code of conduct. You have rules that you have to follow, man. And guess what? This past New Year's, black people broke our rules according to the Bible. We probably thought that f celebrating New Year's was a good thing. It's a good thing to sit in that church and, and, and praise and dance to Jesus and bring in the New Year church. 
We probably thought it was a good thing for us to go and party and bring in the new year, having a good time. I'm looking past 2020. 2020 was such a bad year. Well, guess what? Let me help you with something, man. 2020 was not the beginning of our suffering, man. Right. 2020 was not the beginning of blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans suffering. That's Thank right. you, brother. And guess what? Let me help you with something. 2021 won't be the end of our suffering either, man. Right. It will not be the end of our suffering. Right now, there's a new strain of coronavirus, man. A new strain. Now, all you conspiracy theorists who said the coronavirus was fake, I know you holding your tongue down. So many of our people are losing their lives to coronavirus. More than, than the goddamn white man. How was that? Well, we thought we couldn't get the coronavirus. You know how? Because we choose to celebrate and follow American culture. We choose to follow the white man. When we have our own culture, we have our own laws, we have our own heritage found in the Bible. And the problem is, black people love America too much. We love America too much when America has never loved black people. America has never loved Hispanics and Native Americans. You name me one time America has ever loved us. You know what's sad when you can be a police officer and you're black and you still get oppressed in America. You can be a Grammy Award winning jazz musician and your son can still be attacked for absolutely nothing, man. It doesn't matter what job, how much money, what status, what political affiliation you have, there is nothing we can do to change how America feels about us, man. To make this oppressor love us, man. There is nothing we can do to change their mind about how they feel about us. So you know what we should do? We should change our minds about how we feel about them and about their culture. And guess what? New Year's is not our culture, man. New Year's is absolutely white culture. It comes from the Greeks. And I'm gonna show you in just a second. First of all, we gotta understand, when I say it's not our culture, you gotta ask what, if New Year's is not our culture, then what is our culture? Our culture is found in this book. The Lord called us to follow this book. Give me Amos 3 and 1. I'll prove it to you right here. I bet you didn't know the Bible is black culture. The Bible is black history. And don't let nobody tell you otherwise, man. Everybody think they're a scholar on the Bible. Everybody thinks they're an expert on the Bible. When these brothers back here actually love black people enough to pick up the book and study and do the research and find out exactly what this book is talking about. And all throughout this book, it's talking about how blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans should live their lives. What's the best way for us to live our lives? And guess what? Because we've abandoned what this book says, our lives aren't worth living in America. Our lives aren't worth, aren't worth living, man. That's why we look forward to these sinful holidays, because it's a chance for us to forget our oppression. It's a chance for us to forget how much of hell we live in. When we don't understand we live in hell because we choose to follow after the white man and his culture. Read this. The book of Amos chapter 3 verse 1. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you. Hear this word that the Lord has spoken against you, man. Let's find out who is the Lord speaking against right now. Read. Oh, children of Israel. Oh, who? Children of Israel. Oh, children of who? Israel. Of Israel, man. The Lord is speaking against the children of Israel. One thing you don't understand, because your pastor has lied to you and the church doesn't teach you anything, that all throughout the Bible, it's referring to one specific set of people, man. It's referring to one group of people. And guess what? It is the children of Israel, the house of Israel, the nation of Israel. The problem is we never knew that we are the children of Israel. Black man, Hispanic man, Native American, Indian man, you are a child of Israel. You are an Israelite. You understand? You are God's chosen people. And right now, our God is speaking against us, man. Why would, why would our own God speak against us? Let's find out. Read. Against the whole family which I brought up. From the against the whole what? Family. The whole family, man. When we say we are Israelites, we're not putting that title on there because we like the way it sounds. We say we're Israelites because that's who we are. That is our biological, our DNA, man. It's by blood. 
If your father was a black Hispanic or Native American Indian man, then that's who you are, black Hispanic or Native American. That's right. You're an Israelite, man. That's right. Everybody's allowed to claim their bloodline and be proud of their bloodline and heritage. Black people, we have a bloodline and heritage, and it's the children of God, man. It's being God's holy children, the real Jews, according to the Bible. The Jewish man walks all over the earth with his chest puffed up like he's the best thing on the face of the earth. When he's an imposter, man. The Jewish man is not the real Jews. Those white people in Israel are not the real Jews. The Jews are black. Christ is a black man. And this Bible is talking to black people, the children of Israel. Read. Against the whole family which I brought up from the land of Egypt's land. The Lord is talking to our family, man. Our family who he brought out of the land of Egypt. This is how you know the, the white man is not the real Jews. Do you see any paintings or historical evidence showing white people in slavery in Egypt? If the white man is the real Jew, that means he, were the one, he was the ones in slavery in Egypt. Because the Jews were in slavery under the Egyptians. So if the white man is a Jew, how come we don't see any archaeological evidence showing he was the one in Egypt as the slave? You know why? Because he has lied. The same way the white man lies about him being a Jew, the same way he lies about him being God and, and Christ, the same way he lied about us getting $2,000 on that stimulus check, they lie about everything. Yeah, it's like, I'm mad about that. They lie about everything. You told us we was getting 2000 Mitch McConnell. Mitch better have my money. You lie. You absolutely lie. And that's why we shouldn't trust the white man. Because they lie about everything. They lied about the time of the New Year. I'm about to show you right here. I'm going to show you right now. We thought we were celebrating the New Year when the New Year hasn't even started yet. And I'm going to prove it to you. But first, let's find out why God is speaking against the children of Israel. Why is God speaking against our family, black man? Read. You only have I known. Read that again. You only have I known. The Bible is saying if you are black, Hispanic, or Native American, God has chosen you. You only has the Lord known, man. We are God's chosen children. And everybody can accept it and love it when we say that in the church. But the moment we come out here and tell the truth according to the Bible, now it's a problem. That's because our people hate the truth, man. Our people hate everything that's right. Because we follow the white man who made us love wrong and love sin. We are the real Jews, and the Lord has only known us. And because the Lord has only known us, he's expecting us to follow what he's told us to do in this Bible. He's expecting us to follow this code of conduct, man. This Bible's not religious. It ain't no, it's nothing religious about telling the black man not to murder another black man. What's religious about that? There's nothing religious about telling a man not to sleep with another man's woman. It's not religious telling a person not to sleep with an animal. It's not religious telling somebody they shouldn't eat pork. The Christian church has destroyed our entire concept of the Bible. The Christian church is the house of Satan, man. The Christian church is doing the bidding of the white man because Christianity is white supremacy. That's why the image they have in them churches is of Christ is a white boy. That's why, because Christianity is not of the Bible. Christianity doesn't follow the Bible. That's why Christians will come out here and proudly proclaim that they eat pork when God says pork is an abomination. You understand? That's just one of the many rules that the Lord has given us that we have to follow. But instead of following the Bible, and instead of following black culture, we follow white culture. Yeah, everybody want to be pro-black. Everybody think they pro-black and blackity black this when you don't understand that you are an agent of white supremacy, man. You don't understand that you don't really want to follow bl real black culture. Everybody, everybody pro-black until you tell them what real black culture is. That's right. You understand? Well, I'll, I'll help you. If you smoke weed, you are not black. Right. If you go and vote, you are not black. Right. If you celebrating New Year's, you are not black. That's right. If you are a Christian, you are not black. Don't get mad at me. Y'all love when Joe Biden said it. And Joe Biden was absolutely wrong, man. That's how you know the white man's a devil. The white man will make you feel wrong for wanting to do right. Black people said, we're not going to vote this year. 
Joe Biden said, if you don't vote for me, then you must not be black. Well, I'll tell you what, Joe Biden, you can go to hell, man. And you and Donald Trump and your stinking country because God hates America. Because black people love your country and your culture more than we love our own culture. And the Bible is real black culture, man. That's right. We, you own it. Now I know, out of all the families of the earth, therefore I will punish you for all Therefore I will what? Punish you for all your iniquities. When you see black people in the ghettos, and you look at our lives, and you wonder why we suffer the way we suffer in the ghettos, in the burials, in the reservations, you gotta understand we're suffering because the Lord is punishing us, man. The Lord is punishing his children for being disobedient, for going against the one thing that can truly save us, right. the one thing that actually belongs to us, man. The white man can steal everything on the face of the earth, but he can't take away this right here. This is our heritage, through our bloodline. Our forefathers made a covenant with the God of the Bible, and they can't take that. They tried to take it, but they can't change our blood, man. No matter if you want to believe it or not, if you are a black Hispanic Native American, you are a child of God, man. You can't run from it for too long. You are an Israelite. And because you are an Israelite, you have to follow these rules. Or our lives will continue to be hell. You know why black people was relying on the stimulus check so much? You know why me and the rest of my people are mad that we weren't getting $2,000? You know why? Because black people look forward to any type of relief we can get in this hell. We are the only ones that live in utmost poverty, man. We are the ones that that, that $600 or that $2,000 would have make or break whether or not we have a house over our head. That $600 will make or break whether or not our kids are gonna eat for the next week. That $600 will make or break whether or not the lights and the heat is gonna stay on in the cold winter, man. That's the lives that we live. And if you black, Hispanic, and Native American, you cannot deny that to be the truth. That's right. Because you're going home to the ghettos. You're going home to the projects, just like we all are, man. We the ones that's suffering. And we can't seem to understand that our suffering is directly tied to our disobedience, man. We can't seem to understand that. We want to love America so goddamn bad, man. We got to stop, man. We gotta stop and wake up and realize, is this helping our people? Listen man, let's, let's be practical. This is not religious, let's open our eyes and ask ourselves, is black people loving America good for our people? Is it practical for black people to love America? That's right. Listen man, the, 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 the proof is in the pudding. That's right. Well, 400 years worth of proof. Black people have loved and served America since 1619. For 400 years, we've loved and served and sacrificed for America more than any other race of people. And you know how America repays our love, our service, and our sacrifice? They allow every other race of people to come over here and open businesses in our neighborhoods and get rich of off of us while we still suffer and while we're the poorest. Nobody suffers the way we suffer, man. And we suffer the way we do because we have to follow these rules. These rules were put in place to establish order in the black community, to establish righteous judgment in the black community, man. Our communities are hell. Why do you think football players and NBA players and rappers always want to leave the ghetto when they blow up? Because who wants to live in a place where you have to worry about getting robbed? because they love America so much, man. And they want to go where the American dollar is, where the American vibe is, the American culture. We have to understand American culture is destructive for black people. If you don't believe me, I know some of y'all is regret, regretting that New Year's party. Some of y'all is like, man, I wish I wouldn't have did that. That New Year's party, I, sh I shouldn't have did that. I had one too many tequila shots, huh? I shouldn't have slept with that whore. You understand? We should have, we, a lot of our people right now are regretting what they did, all type of disgusting freakies what they did on that stupid holiday, man. You know why? Because New Year's is not for black people. How many brothers got shot or stabbed or murdered on New Year's? 
You notice on the holidays, the crime rate always goes up in the black community? You notice that? The crime rate skyrockets in the black community during the holidays. Right. Guess what? So much so that they even tell you, when you go to the store, make sure you hide all your belongings. Make sure your doors is locked. They tell us that because we understand, they understand that black people getting the Christmas spirit is not white people getting the Christmas spirit. When white people get the Christmas spirit, it's a white Christmas and dashing through the snow. And it's all happy and jolly. If you love the ISUPK, stay in the loop. Go to Google Play and download the new user-friendly One West ISUPK app and get exclusive footage to our online classes and street speaking videos. Also, the Black Watch podcast, hosted by Commanding General Yohanna, the leader of the Nation of Israel. It's real easy to stay in tune with the ISUPK and the information we're putting out. Just go to Google Play and type in One West UPK app and hit download. Let's get it in. Don't be left out.